Okay. Uh, well, I'm Maria Cordova, and uh, I retired as a school psychologist quite a few years ago. And then I started doing some work in the community because I could see that women, uh, you know, I visited homes with uh, public health nurses, and I could see depression, I could see abuse, uh, you know, just, you know, people, women that uh, I felt so sorry for because I thought, you know, they, they can grow because it's part of the culture sometimes to keep women in their place. And so anyway, uh, I decided to, I thought to myself, one of these days I'm going to start a group of women support group. And I did that about 17 years ago. And it was good, but it's, it's uh, you don't accomplish as much as a group. And about five years ago, uh, Placer County uh, Health and Human Services asked me if I could put a group of uh, uh, Latinos because uh, services were not being accomplished. And so since we know the culture and the language and so forth and so on, we might be able to make some changes. And the whole idea is not to duplicate services. And Elisa Herrera is the came along the program, you know, came up in to our program, and she is a grant writer. She is a marketing person and business. And I thought this is exactly what I've always dreamed of: so a left brain person. I'm pretty much of a right brain person. <laughs> and so anyway, so she comes along and started putting a lot of uh, programs together in the schools and also in, um, in health with hospitals and, and the community, and mental health, substance use, you know, and uh, uh, with, the, uh, with the courts and the justice, uh, social justice. And so I am like a person that found Santa Claus. <laughs> and so anyway, uh, uh, you know, it's like it has developed and developed and developed, and now we have about 20 promotores. Promotores are people that work, that are like the bridge uh, between the community and agencies, and it's working absolutely beautiful because people were not going in for services. First of all, you know, they, the language. Then sometimes, even though they had the language, they just d didn't feel that, they, that there was that trust. And so that's what promotores do. They're like the bridge between community and agencies. And once they get going with their uh, uh, trust, because trust and relationships is big, you know, very, very big. Once they can do that, then they automatically kind of are on their own. Capacity building is a big thing with us. We want for them to become independent, but, some, but they sometimes need to be guided and connected and saying, you don't have to be scared. You know, this is how it works. And uh, so this is, and Selena has been absolutely fabulous because she's the person in charge of the health. And so, you know, go ahead and tell them a little bit about what you do. Hello, everybody. My name is Selena, and I'm the promotora lead for health. And basically what that means is we do health screenings. Um, last year we did health screenings in Lincoln, Roseville, and Auburn. And we did about uh, 600 um, screen, well we screened about 600 adults. And out of those 600 we took about 60 to visit the doctor. And um, a lot of them received, you know, the medication that they needed and also they got to know a doctor that they hadn't seen and they've never been to a doctor in years or some of them. Sadly, but they have never gone in their, you know, in adult life already. Um, so we help them with that to get comfortable um, with the, when we do the clinic, mm -hmm. the clinics, we do lab work. We send them, if depending on how we have, because we have nurses there and they, they check their blood pressure. And if something comes up or other indications, then that's when we refer them to the lab and we pay for it. And then from there, depending on how the lab work comes out, we take them to the clinic, but we go with them so they feel comfortable. We introduce them to the doctors, um, and then we teach them what to do after the first two visits that we help them with, what to do next, when's your follow-up appointments, and kind of teaching them how to do it on their own. Then they know how to do it with their children, and they feel really comfortable. Um, we have two sponsors. We have Kaiser, who helps us with the screenings, um, with Zumba classes that we have. We have about 20-plus women in Roseville and in Lincoln and they love it. They've lost uh, weight, inches, um, depression has 
been decreased so much and um, their self-esteem, oh my goodness, the faces in the, in the late, you know, the ladies, mm -hmm. oh my goodness, it's just so beautiful. They feel beautiful now. Um, and then also we, with uh, Sutter, we do prevention, um, helping them, <coughs> teaching them to eat healthier, um, how to check themselves to going to the doctor resources um, so then they don't fall into the emergency room. So it's not an easy stop and easy access for them going to the emergency room all the time. And we, we, we've also done nutrition classes, six week course. We done it in Lincoln, in Roseville, and in Auburn. And it was fabulous. We learned so much. We tasted delicious food. I myself started you know, using a lot of those um, recipes and it, it has made a huge impact in my family. Um, therefore, so it's so much easier to explain to the families. You know, it really works. Um, in our culture, the men have to have a big plate lots of meat, you know, and sodas and coffee and Mexican bread and then, and then these are after all that. Um, so it's really hard for them and for the wives to explain to the husbands, you know, this is, this will prevent so much, you know, with us, diabetes runs in our blood. It's just ridiculous how many diabetes patients I came across and some of them didn't even know they were diabetic. I've had patients where they've gone to the doctor and it's 400, their glucose. It's, and it's urgent that they need to get insulin right away. And they had no idea because they didn't feel it. They felt great, they still had energy to work. And so with this, with one, when we find one family member who is sick, then the next ones go, oh, can I go to that same doctor? Can I start making my own appointments? Because they, they're scared. And so we've been preventing that way, teaching one person that at the house, we've noticed that it helps so much more. We've had little kids who are um, coming up to us, or coming up to me at least, and they say, oh, I love the macaroni and cheese that my mom cooks. And it has no cheese and it has no milk. And it's all nutrition stuff. They have no idea. You know, but the mom's making a change and they notice it. They're like, oh, is this healthy for me to eat? And it's just, it's beautiful how you teach one person and it motivates the whole family. Mm -hmm. And then it motivates also the parents. If the kids see that the parents are not afraid to go into the doctor, then the kids also see that it's okay to go to the doctor because mommy and daddy go. Um, and so that's, m that's my job is teaching them, making them feel comfortable to go to the doctor so they don't feel like, well, it's, you know what, I'm just gonna wait till I can't handle this pain anymore and I'm just gonna go straight to the emergency room. Sometimes, unfortunately, it's a little too late. Um, and then, but we still help them when, we're th when they're there, especially if they don't have insurance, we help them what to do after or find insurance for them or, find the resources, um, and that's a little bit of mm -hmm. that I'm Well, yeah, that's, that's great. Also, one of the things that we've started, a garden mm -hmm. uh, behind uh, Sutter Hospital in Auburn, because they kept saying, oh, the tomatoes are so high, I put it back, and things like that, and so 